Welcome to Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso. We are live. Yay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a random episode of Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, known to many as the Orgasmic Body Whisperer. There we go. Facebook keeps changing things in the back end. Um, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer, I get to empower women to live orgasmically by including their bodies in the creation of their life. And I have been pondering a question for quite some time now. And that question is, if I could say anything with no consequences, what would I say? In this particular question, I am using the word consequences as in, if I could say anything and like nothing, quote unquote, bad happened. No one got mad at me. No one like lashed out at me. If I could say anything, what would I say? And I want you to ponder that question as I sort of dive into what I want to play with you, talk to you about today. Hi, Michael. Welcome. Um, last year, I was at an event with one of my mentors, Sheila Kelly. And as some of you probably know, if you follow me, then you know that I, I am a big uh, proponent of pole dancing. One of my programs, Pole Dancing for Consciousness, is all about uh, movement and embodiment and expressing life orgasmically with your body. And so I was at this event with Sheila Kelly, who is one of my mentors, and I got up and asked her a question and I said, you know, I've been doing this work for so long. I move my body, right? I go to my pole dancing classes and I move my body in a lot of different ways. And if I have to travel or work and I can't get into the studio or I can't get to work out, what I notice is that when I get back into the studio, my body has repatterned in the same way. You know, um, when I move, a lot then my body is flexible and soft and 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 there's movement in a lot of different areas and if i don't do that then i notice that it sort of goes back to these patterned ways and so i was asking her about that for my own you know um and she's so brilliant she said to me she looked at me and she said those patterns are everywhere in your life you kept silent whoa <laughs> everywhere you stayed quiet and that just kind of rocked my world for a little bit not gonna lie um and i was i'm gonna bring all this together i was watching the umbrella academy last night on netflix and the main character one of the main characters, you know, she grows up like feeling like she's worthless and not special and not anything like that. So she already has this inherent sense of smallness within her. And she ends up getting together with this guy who all of a sudden is like, you're amazing and you're magical and you're this and you know, whatnot. And so her she starts just being with him all of the time and then rejecting her family and moving away from her family and and it's very clear that there's there's ominous things going on here and it is revealed eventually you know that he he it's just obvious right that he's just gaslighting her and pulling her away from her family for his own gain you know and um so she ends up like putting all of her loyalty with this guy if you've watched the Umbrella Academy, then you know about this, and I'm digressing into that story. But the point of that is that she spent a lot of her life being told that she was worthless, so that when anyone showed up and was like, hey, you have value, you know, she went to that without any kind of awareness of what that person's like intentions were um, and it reminded me of when I was 27 and I, I got into a relationship with a boy and it was a similar kind of energy. You know, I had 
moved away, far away from, from home to be with this boy. And eventually the relationship re revealed itself to be abusive and, and, and not a good place for me. And I remember hiding that, hiding that from my friends, hiding that from my family. I just pretended like we just had the greatest relationship. And eventually my, my sister actually pointed out, hey, these, these things that are going on, you know, she kind of saw the withdrawing on my part and some energies. And so she pointed that out, pointed them out to me. And literally at the time, I didn't even realize that I was in an abusive relationship. I didn't even, like, I didn't know. The lesson that I learned from that was that if I am hiding something, if I am silent about something, then something's iffy. Because I'm a very open person. I'll tell you all kinds of things. I'll tell you all, you know. But if something's like, mm, I don't know, my pattern is to keep quiet and keep it to myself. And as I look at what's happening in the world, as so many people are rising up to injustice and um, really speaking like what has been true for them and what's going on with them and, and all of that, this has been very prevalent in my, in my world over the last many months. If I could say anything with no consequence, with no one getting mad at me or abusing me or whatever, what would I say? If you could say anything, what would you say? I've been in rooms where I've watched people lie and like straight out bold faced lies. Some people in the room know that these are lies, but no one is speaking. Why? Why don't we speak up? Why don't we why don't we speak up for ourselves? Why don't we speak up for our bodies? Why don't we speak up for what we know is actually true and a contribution, an actual genuine like consciousness? Like why don't we speak up for that? is really what has been sort of, you know, rolling around in my universe in these last couple of days. And how does not speaking up translate? How does that show up in your body? Where are you stiff and numb and not being present with energy? Where are you not being present with what is actually true for you? And where are you not having your own back, committing to yourself, being present with yourself and like taking care of yourself? In, in that relationship, you know, that abusive relationship, which was, this was over 20 years ago, right? I mean, if I hadn't had those experiences, I wouldn't be where I am today, right? Working with women, empowering myself and, and those around us. So there is gratitude there, but where, why was I hiding that? You know, why didn't I speak up for myself? Why didn't I take care of myself? And I think that's what was similar with the Umbrella Academy, right? I was just this black sheep and, you know, I would, everything I did was wrong and I wasn't special and I, I was just like crazy. So that was already, that story was already playing in my world. <laughs> <laughs> and when, when I asked Sheila that question at that event, and she said to me, that's everywhere you've stayed silent. That was only like a year ago. So in the last year, I've been looking at, wow, where did I stay silent? Where were there lies being said, things that were not true, that I just sat there and smiled and pretended? What is that? No more, my friends, no more. 
Um, if you've been watching any of, any of my videos, you've heard me say that this time in, in uh, Corona was a real hibernating time for me. And as I emerge and as I show up in the world uh, different than I have before, what I'm noticing is a courage to speak that is different than before. And I'm excited. I'm excited to be present with you all in this, in this way. Um, and I don't know if there's comments because Facebook has changed this. So I can't tell really, <laughs> but anyway, th those that's, that's today. That is today. I would love for you to ponder that question. If you could say anything, what would you say? If you could say anything with no consequences whatsoever, what would you say? And you have to know that maybe what you say other people might not like, and that's okay too. How do you take care of yourself through that? How do you stay present with what you know is true for you through that discomfort? Maybe that'll be a different show. I'm sure I've done a show on that already. Anyway, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I do have um, an event that I'm starting soon. Activate your feminine body and brilliance. You can check it out at pattyalfonso.sexy slash activate. This, this particular event, <clears throat> I'm creating something very specific for feminine bodies. So it is for women. <laughs> Don't worry, gentlemen. I'm creating something for you as well. It's coming. You'll just have to be a little bit patient with me right now. Um, so yeah, go check it out. I would love to see you there. I would love to hear <clears throat> what it is that you have to say that you haven't been willing to say. Notice y'all, my voice is like crackling. Isn't that interesting? <clears throat> There you go. Things are changing, my friend. That's my body clearing whatever energy I had been holding on there, keeping me silent. No more. No more. Here we go. Hibernating is over. <laughs> Coming out into the world. Um, so yes, ladies, my, my desire, intention for this activation is to create a nurturing, safe, delicious, environment for you to show up and be present with your body in a way that you never have before because that is what's going to create more for you and for your life so check it out thank you all for being here i adore you so much have a beautiful day and i'll see you next time bye for now